Peace family, welcome back to our Credit Healing channel. So today we wanted to discuss debt consolidation. And the reason that we want to discuss this is because many of you have consumer debt. What is consumer debt? Consumer debt is primarily credit card debt, um, personal loans, things like that. So we wanna be able to help you be able to get out of consumer debt. And there are multiple ways that you can go about doing it, but we want to discuss primarily debt consolidation. What is debt consolidation? So debt consolidation is simply when you have consolidated all of your debts, you've put them in one basket and then you are basically paying that particular debt off, which will help you be able to pay it off at, at a reasonable rate. So today we want to discuss the three pros and the three cons of debt consolidation. Stay tuned. Number one, lower interest rates. So for those of you who have relatively decent credit, although your balances may be high on your credit cards, what you can do is you can look at taking out either a personal loan or find the best credit card on the mount on the market. And typically these particular credit cards have 0% APR for 12 to 24 months. And what you can do is you can do a, a balance transfer. What the balance transfer is, is that you would just take that particular balance or the balances for the, the different credit cards that you have and then transfer those to one credit card that has 0% APR. And then you'll just pay that particular credit card back and you don't have any interest and in all the balances that are on your other credit cards are now at a zero because you've transferred those balances to the new credit card. You can also do that for loans. Typically loans have a lower interest rates, the interest rate than credit cards. And therefore what you can do is you can transfer uh, that money or you can use the money from that particular loan that you've taken out and then pay off your credit card debt and therefore the only debt that you will have are simply or is the loan and then with that loan you'll just pay that back at a lower interest rate because now comparatively the uh, loan has a lower interest rate than the credit card so now you're not paying as much money out of your pocket to try to pay that debt back but those are two different strategies uh to basically find and consolidate your debt by the lower interest rate strategy number two a single debt to manage. What is this? So when you go and you consolidate your debt, as we mentioned before, using the different strategies, what this allows you to do is basically be able to not have to worry about um, focusing on paying a debt over here and paying a debt over there and paying a debt way over yonder. You can just focus on one debt and that is gonna be an ease of mind for you and allows you to basically be able to focus on what you're trying to focus on as you are paying down your debt. So that's another pro for being able to consolidate your debt. Pro number three, lower your credit utilization. What is this? So your credit utilization is simply your debt to credit ratio. Your debt to credit ratio is how much debt you have um, compared to how much available credit you have. And so what we would recommend that you do is for you to go and open up a personal loan, you take that personal loan, you pay the uh, credit cards down, preferably to zero. So you have zero interest rate that you're paying on these cards. And then this will then reduce your credit utilization or your debt to credit ratio. And so now your scores are going to shoot up because credit utilization is specifically or generally in regard to credit cards, not personal loans. So by you basically using this method, this allows you to be able to lower your credit utilization, reduce your debt, as well as lower your interest rates as you have consolidated your debt. All right, family. So now we're going to discuss the three cons of debt consolidation. Number one, not being able to find a lower interest rate. Now, just because, you know, there are available banks who will loan money to people, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to offer a lower interest rate um, for that particular loan or even a new credit card because your scores may not be up to par. If your scores are just as low as they were when you first applied for credit cards, most likely you won't be able to get um, basically a lower uh, interest rate for that particular card. And that makes it difficult for you to be able to um, utilize the method and strategy that we just discussed to pay off your credit cards and consolidate your debt. Con number two, when you can't effectively manage your debt. So what is this? Now, say for instance, if you've successfully uh, opened up a personal loan or even a new credit card and you've consolidated your debt, 
right? So all the that uh, that you have is now on your new loan or your new credit card. Now, if you're not fiscally responsible, what can possibly happen is that you will then see that those credit cards that you ran up are now or they now have a zero balance. And so what will happen is that you will then go run and spend that particular credit card because, you know, you say, well, I can get these new shoes. Or I can get this new computer or I can get this new gaming. And then you find yourself in even a more worse condition than before, because now you have the debt over for that personal loan that you've consolidated your debt. And then you have uh, debt for your credit cards uh, again. So now you have more debt. So as you go to consolidate your debt, make sure that you do it responsibly because you don't want to be in a much worse position that you were before you consolidate your debt. Time number three, when you have to put up collateral. So there's some banks that actually offer a debt consolidation loan, but these particular loans are secure. They're not unsecured. And therefore they would prefer for you to have to put up some type of collateral, which is usually either a car or if it's a lot of money or a lot of debt that you owe your house. And so if you're not in a position um, and your credit is not in a position to be able to, um, you know, get the unsecured loans at a low interest rate, what can happen is that there are some banks that say, well, we can assist you, but in order for us to be able to assist you, you're going to have to put up X, Y, and Z, and then we can have this particular agreement. Now, if you don't pay this uh, debt consolidation loan back, then we have the right, the legal right to seize your assets and therefore unfortunately you won't be able to get it back so when you're going through the process of debt consolidation just be mindful about what you do and how you do it you don't want to try to jump out and do it because you're anxious or because you're stressed and you find yourself in a much worse condition now we can actually help you with debt consolidation if you're looking to do that all right, family. So we're happy to have this discussion with you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com. And if you're ready to get started and you want to start hitting your credit, go to www.credithealing.org. Peace.